Hey everybody, this is Beast. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scotty Allen Day. Now, what is a jack of all trades? What does master of none mean? Does this mean you need a lot of college? Why is this title important in life? And is this type is this art of work heading to extinction? So that's my video for today. I got my notes right there. That's my video for today. We're talking about a jack of all trades and a master of none. That means somebody that knows a little bit about just about every type of profession that's out there. But they haven't skilled in any. Now, I'm a jack of all trades and I'm a master of one. The only trade that I have is driving a bus. I've driven it for 26 years and, well, I, uh, would kind of like to get back into master of a lot. But you can't really go master of all. That would probably take an entire lifetime. So, what does a master of none mean? Master of none pretty much means that you haven't mastered any. Or you've only mastered one. Back in the 80s, that was a very common term for a lot of people. Jack of all trades, master of none. That means I could I could pop a hood open in a car and change the carburetor. I can pop a hood open in another car, take the carburetor out and put a supercharger in it. I could, over a weekend, drop the transmission, rebuild it, and put it back in the car and drive off to school on Monday morning. Same thing with rebuilding a car. Uh, if the toaster breaks, I could open it up and I could fix it. If my Sony Walkman broke, I could open it up and realize that the belt was bad. I can't find a belt, so, I'm not, so I'll go and find a piece of rubber, cut it, fuse it together, and make, and make my own belt. DIY style. So, that starts getting, getting well, a little better than that. You can sew a button on your shirt. You can uh, cut a tree down without hitting the house. You can change a tire. You could set up a stage. You can, I mean, there's thousands of jobs that you could be able to do, but you're not really skilled at it. And that is important to just about a lot of people. I mean, I can make a pasta primavera. I can make uh, chicken cordon bleu. I can prepare a... Uh, an Italian feast for 50 people. Easily. I can tend bar. I can bounce at a nightclub. It's really simple. I mean, but a jack of all trades takes a lot of extra work. And t in today's job market, that's non existent. When you are back in the 80s and you put down the jack of all trades master of no um, none, in your uh, hobbies, that strikes a great conversation when you're sitting inside of an office talking with somebody who's in construction or uh, manufacturing, and you start talking about what your trade is, what your skills are, what your craft is, and try and see if they can be able to put you into the general vicinity. A lot of people that were jacks of all trades and masters of none became the head maintenance person for a warehouse, the head maintenance person for an auto dealership. But it just takes a lot more patience if you wanted to become a jack of all trades. You have to be resourceful enough to be able to find all of your information. You have to know where to buy the parts, you have to know where to pick up the parts, you have to be able to know where to be able to find a blueprint if you need to, let alone read a blueprint. Now if you say, oh that's easy, I can pick up a blueprint and build a box, without looking at a schematic. A schematic is with a, uh, an electronic and you have thousands of other lines, which makes it much difficult 
to be able to decipher. You have mechanical drafting. Uh, know what a chamfer is or a countersink. You have survey uh, surveys and contours. You have topographical maps. You gotta be able to read a map. Could you fight a forest fire? Lots of bits and pieces that it takes for somebody to be able to master. <clears throat> and a lot of people today would just basically call him a handyman. But some of these handymen are so good, they could charge 70 bucks an hour. And they'll get the, they'll get the job done in about two. But today, in today's world, that's, that's heading to extinction. This art is heading to extinction. The only part of this that's not heading to extinction, or I would say probably the only profession out there in existence that is not putting this to extinction, that still need, which their job requires them to be a jack of all trades. They need to be a plumber, a welder, and an electrician. They need to uh, learn how to troubleshoot. They need to know how to fix a pump, rebuild an, uh, an, an alternator, rebuild a light, rebuild, I mean, uh, rehang a door, fix an engine, change a tire, put a track, change a tractor tire, fix a tractor tire. Yeah, I'm talking about today's farmers. Farmers and ranchers, all are jack of all trades. They've done it all, they've seen it all, and they can do it again, over and over again, every single day. So why is that important to anybody that lives in the city or the suburbs? Well, anytime your water heater breaks, and you have an electric water heater, it probably takes two hours for maybe an amateur to replace, with the help of you two. But it's costly because you gotta buy the parts. You gotta buy the tools. And because you gotta buy the parts and the tools, it costs you a little bit more, but, I, but the thing is, it's 10 years down the line when it breaks again, you already have it. But that gives you some light plumbing experience. Another common thing in the house with uh, plumbing is, well, the toilet flappers doesn't seal the toilet and the water runs. You gotta learn how to be able to fix that. You have to learn how to shut it off. If you're in a manufactured home, you have to learn where to how to find the, the entire shutoff valve to be able to shut the water off for the entire house. Can you lay a piece of carpeting? Can you lay uh, hardwood flooring? Can you build a shed? And a lot of these people say, oh, you know what? It's easier if I have somebody else do it. Yeah, and you're going to pay an extra thousand to two thousand dollars. You watch the dude, Dad. He shows some. He shows very true to life type scenarios. Can I get an estimate on fixing my lawn? Yeah, it'll be about a thousand. I need a lawn irrigation system. And how much will it cost? It ought to be about a thousand. It's true. Oh, well, I need a brake job. I just got an estimate on my truck. How much to get my brakes done? About a thousand. <laughs> it's true. But if you knew how to change your own brakes and change them safely, it costs you about two hundred. Saves eight hundred. If you knew how to make a uh, two-tier birthday cake, kids will love you forever. You knew how to play the guitar, or uh, play a trombone, or to play a trumpet, or kick a soccer ball around, know some basic moves for soccer. You know how to play football, but know how to play baseball. No addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Know how to read, no geography, no, no science. All of that stuff wrapped together makes you a jack of all trades. Makes it important later on. You just don't know. You don't know what the skill is, you don't know what the craft is. But eventually, you'll learn, I can master one, but it's fun to learn all. Now, have I learned all? Not, not yet. I have yet to learn how to fix an airplane. I will someday. So, I wanted to throw this out there, it was kind of a fun video, because jack of all trades, master of none. 
was a very, very common term, but a very, very extremely common, extremely, just a common term in the 70s and 80s, the jack of all trades, master of none. If you want anywhere near that, you have work to do. So, I wanted to get that out there. I thought it would be a fun video to put it together. Just to kind of have people say, hey, you know what? Maybe it, I can do it myself. Maybe I could add that little mark on my stat sheet. Well, maybe you can. Are you a master of all trades? Jack of all trades? If you are, let me know in the comment section. If you have multiple trades, multiple skills, let me know how many. I'd like to know. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Until next time, keep on rocking.